New details tonight in a vicious attack from a police canine. The victim, a young woman who says she's badly scarred both mentally and physically. Just one look at her injuries helped to paint the picture of that aggressive assault. We first brought you this shocking story on WCNC Charlotte at 530, but all new tonight at 11. We're now hearing from the attorney for the Mint Hill Police Department where that canine and his handler continue to work. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper tells us what police had to say to the victim's plea for justice. This six page lawsuit details the events of that vicious canine attack and the compensation the victim now seeks. But the defense attorney says one important word that's missing in all these pages is the word intentional. This is Madison Simmons, a young woman whose life changed last April in just a matter of seconds. These are pictures that show that devastating shift, cuts and scars on her left leg, all due to a vicious canine attack. She has to live with the injuries and the damages, both physical and mental. In a lawsuit just filed, it lists Mint Hill police officer Joseph McNamara and his canine Taz as the parties responsible for this attack after Officer McNamara invited Simmons, his girlfriend at the time, over to his home. We're told the officer wanted to show Simmons some of the canine's tricks, but then things took a turn. This was an unintended, unanticipated bite of a visitor at the officer's home. This just happened out of the blue. Scott McLatchy is the police attorney who says in cases like this, pattern of behavior is key. With a dog, whether it's a police dog or a dog owned by a civilian, was there any prior indication because of uh, conduct of the dog in the past that this was foreseeable? McLatchy says in the case of Taz's attack, the answer is no. That's partly due to the extensive training that is done. But Officer McNamara underwent about 240 hours in training with the dog through CMPD's training program the year before the bite occurred, and they had been deployed and partnered together after that with absolutely no incidents like this. Yet still, Simmons' attorney says more should be done. In the lawsuit, they're asking for over $25,000 in compensation, along with some accountability. Hopefully and prayerfully, this won't happen to anybody else. Currently, both Officer McNamara and K-9 Taz are still working at the Mint Hill Police Department. As for Simmons, we're told it'll take at least a year for all of her scars to fully heal. The police attorney tells me as for next steps, they now have 30 days to evaluate the lawsuit and then file an official response with the courts. Brianna Harper reporting WCNC Charlotte.